Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! It's time to battle! Clubmaster Gene Mint! You must hurry! If you can best me, Gene, in a duel, I'll give you the deck I use to flatten GR number one! Well then, are you ready to take on the Rock Club Master or not? Yes! Bring it on, will you have six prize cards? Oh, it's a Rocky Summit deck! And his deck is probably the most powerful one we'll have come across yet. See, uh, I was, it was, I was kind of giving you a hint that his deck was indeed updated from the last game, and it is harder indeed to beat as well. So I'm going to start out by putting the Machop out into the field, and we play with six prize cards, this bad boy. Full-time duel here, we'll see how things roll. He goes first. Ooh, new version of Onyx. New version of Onyx could be a problem because of Bind. If heads on Paralysis... Bad poopers. Paralysis hits like a ton of bricks. Well, that's okay. Oh, I got a potion. <laughs> so yeah, it's got Bind and Rock Tomb, which prevents retreats. Uh, I think this Rock Tomb actually... Um, Predated the Rock Tomb in the Gold Silver games because Gold and Silver Rock Tomb just reduces speed. And yeah, yeah, but it just kind of like was plopped on over to later games after. But yeah, this is a uh, another vending machine card. Uh, you know uh, about Rhyhorn, yes, 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 regular Cubone, yada yada yada. Another Onyx. Okay. <laughs> um. Well, let's see what we've got here. Anyway. Since Machop is paralyzed, let's go ahead and get Charmander powered up for the future. Make him think I don't have fighting energy cards if the AI is that good at this point in the game. Dang it, really? <laughs> Fine, be that way. I've got a potion anyway. How do you like those apples? Oh, Spearow can outstall him with relative ease because of its fighting resistance. We're gonna go begin the powering up of our spear. So let's go with that and continue out. Oh no, continue out the turns. That's Game Boy Marowak, like Game Boy exclusive Marowak. So you won't find that in the actual card game. Um, ow. <laughs> well, that could be a problem, except not for my spear roll. Uh, I'm gonna show you here really quick bone attack, heads, depending on what I can attack this turn, and whale. Oh wait, maybe I did show this one before. I'm getting confused of my own self. Um, I'm gonna go do a defender here, and I'm gonna go fighting energy and attack with low kick. That way Onyx cannot do any damage on the next turn. He'll probably go for the bind anyway, because it's a, uh, yeah, because it can do paralysis. And man, he's getting lucky with those coin flips, I say. <laughs> well, well, I survived the turn though. Ooh, Ponyta. Uh, I'll go plop this on the Spearow to prepare for the future and call it a turn. He's probably going to rock throw on the next turn. Hopefully no plus power. Actually, I don't think he has a plus power in his deck offhand. Uh, I'll go, sure. That, not, that's, that's good at least, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, if, he, if the, he doesn't get the coin flip on that, I can do the retreat into the Spearow, and then he's kind of stuck. Whoops, I didn't mean to. Okay, there we go. And then he's kind of stuck because of the re Spearow's resistance, so I could just kind of stall things out here and just continually wing attack. I mean, he, he can cause paralysis, but if he can't do more than 30 damage per attack, he's not going to get any damage to my Spearow. Sorry, dude! <laughs> Oh, energy removal! Okay, what do we have here? Should I... Well, actually, should I focus on the higher... Well, actually, no, even Rhyhorn isn't that much of a threat. I think I'll save my energy removal and just keep slapping at that Onyx with my wings. I mean, it may be a flying attack, but it counts as colorless, so it's, it's not going to be resisted by the rock type in this game. <laughs> Alright, you got the paralysis this time. I'll give you that. But zero damage. Uh, I guess I'll plop Growlithe down there. I don't have an Arcanine in my deck yet, but Growlithe has its own utilities that I can utilize, so might as well. Yeah, that's too bad for you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And ooh, Machoke. Um, maybe I should save a Machoke for another Machoke, because this one's 
yeah, it's kind of kind of on the weak side at the moment. Anyway, let's pack. I mean, let's, let's wing attack. <laughs> I just seen pack, and I was like, okay, let's pack. No, you can't do. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for to speed things along. <laughs> well, so far I'm having an easier time than I was with uh, other guy, which we should not even mention his name. So maybe I'll be able to get two duels in this, despite being a uh, six prize card match. Let's find out, shall we? Well, yeah, we got. Uh, yeah, uh, I got two Machoke. Is there any reason for me to trade something at this moment in time? I don't think so. Uh, I'll save that as well and just keep on slapping with the wings. Yes, the feathers are doing so much damage to the rocks. It's insane. <laughs> Just who knew they had such powerful wings? And no, nothing. You, you, yeah. That's that's part of why I kept Spiro in the deck around this these parts, the fighting and rock types, because it's got the resistances. So, oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for to power. Oh, that's just <laughs> was not paying attention. <laughs> yeah, was, that's what I was looking for. It was a fresh Machop to uh, evolve with the Machoke. Now you can energy retrieve those all you want, but if you can't do more than 30 damage. You're, you're, you're as stuck as ever. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's got some more powerful evolutions, but for the most part, I should be able to get through his defenses quick enough before he's able to power up too many things, at least in theory. Hopefully. He'll probably eventually get a ride on or something like that, but we'll see. And even if he does, it still won't be able to knock out Spiro because of the 30 resistance, so... Uh, I don't know if I should... I don't know if I want to do that, because if, if he, if he uh, does a Gust of Wind or something, I don't remember what's in his deck. That, uh, and then Gust of Wind's over to my Macho. I can't retreat it out unless I have three energy cards, and it's just like a sitting duck. So I think I'm gonna allow things to set up ahead of time here. Oh, and I forgot to put in the... Uh, double colorless energy in my deck. That would have been handy for stuff like Charmeleon, like colorless beauties here, etc, etc. Uh, done. <laughs> yeah, so this is, I guess why, oh, there's the ride on. This is why um, GR number one had difficulties uh, beating him, is because he's got a lot of defenses, but he doesn't have a lot of attack power. Other than the Rhydon that I mentioned, so... <laughs> uh, that's what I got Charmeleon here for, though. Um, why don't I begin powering up a Machoke as well, and hopefully I'll be able to get some... Because, uh, yeah, you see, Horde Attack is 30, but then there's the Ram uh, that it forces a switch. That could be into my Machoke. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's just keep on... I did it again, dang it. <laughs> I am thinking about other things other than the attack paralysis. Actually, it doesn't really much matter if I don't think of that, just as long as I try to attack, I guess you could say. Because I'm I'm making the most of each turn regardless, you know? Alright, so I'm gonna go now... Um... Shoot, where should I put the fire on to? I'm thinking the Growlithe. Because it can do some quick damage, and let's finish off with the peck. This time, yes, really the peck. Just because, same attack, the animation. Oh, putting out Cubone, really? I was sure he was going to do the ram and make me swap into something. Unless he's scared of my Charmeleon. That could very well be possible, but he got two energy cards with that retrieval. And Snivel's going to... That's going to be a problem. Well, just a little bit. See, the Snivel... It's it's reduced by 20, and I can only do 20. He could have attacked with Rage, but he didn't because he knew he wanted to stall with the Snivel, which is a pretty smart move. Oh, I got another, got another Spearow going there. Um, I guess it's safe to evolve now because chances are I'll get a uh, energy card for it soon enough. Uh, uh, I, I could... Swap out the Charmeleon, and then just automatically knock out the Cubone. But I think what he's gonna do then is switch the ride on and chew up my poor Charmeleon. So I'm gonna call it a turn and see what he does. Eh, a snivel, huh? Yeah, I think he's stalling me out. Uh, that does uh, 
refer to only my active Pokémon. Like, if you read this here, it says, if the defending Pokémon attacks, which is my active. So I could switch out Spearow for free, and then attack with something else. Which I'm thinking of doing with my Machoke. Because then I have the uh, Charmeleon on backup, uh, when he forces me to switch. So... <laughs> free retreat into Machoke. Attack with Karate Chop! For a Leprise card! I got my own Onyx. Very nice. I could stall him out. And I was right about him wanting to switch into Rhydon on a free turn. So he's gonna try and ram me, I'm sure. Uh-huh. There it is! <laughs> so I'm gonna switch with Charmeleon, of course. And he's gonna do a whopping 50. 20 to himself. And he's gonna force me to switch again on the next turn. But I, I, I'll probably just go back with... Uh, Macho could do submission instead or something. I'm not sure yet. I mean, I could. I mean, I do have Growlithe to do 30 because my uh, 50 is gonna leave him with 30 left. I'll think about it. I don't have to attach an energy card. I'll just save it for now. I mean, it usually is good practice to put an energy card down every turn because you're limited to one per turn, but. Uh. Alright, there's the biggie. So it did 100 damage at two turns, and there's the 20. And oh, maybe I shouldn't have. Oh yeah, that was dumb because it does 20 damage to itself with Ram. Ah uh, yeah, that was a, that was a bad move. I admit it because I I could have just did 10 damage or something with Machop. Um, well, uh, I could switch it out or not. And, I don't know. I mean, either or, I'm gonna get a knockout because of that dumb move. Oh, wait, actually, no! I'm not! I have Spearow. <laughs> uh, okay, then I guess, I guess I'll refocus on Charmeleon then, because it can attack a lot easier. And we can attack for fun, even though it's a bit overkill, technically. And prize card. Oh, yes, yes, yes! I can get another Charmeleon out in the battle. Ryorn is out on the field. Hopefully, he won't get another ride on. That was horrific. Oh, there's the Graveler hanging out. Oh no! If he gets two heads, he can actually do damage to Spearow. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Zero resistance. But yeah, even two head coin flips of heads would be only ten damage, which is a thing of that. I'm trying my best here to stall things out, I guess you could say it. I mean, I mean, stay control of the game, I should say. Uh, you know, he hasn't taken a single prize card somehow. That's kind of... I'm surprised, actually. <laughs> uh, tails immediately. Which fails immediately. So, zero, zero, and we are going... to put a little pressure here. <laughs> Because he, we're, he, we'll be on our last prize card, so that'll make him really think of what he wants to put out. He could put out something of high attack power, like a Rhyhorn to, uh, or, well, like, sorta, I mean, like, so, like, something to prevent me from getting another attack off with Charmeleon, but I don't think it's gonna be able to, well, I mean, that worked there, but I mean, chances are it's not gonna work overall. So, we're just going to have fun here. We're going to check that. I see a defending Pokemon against. I could swap again to something. Should I? Because it's a one retreat cost. Although, I could do this. I mean, like, I could potion and then wait a turn just to do... Wait, hold on. If I do this, and then switch to the spear roll, that resets the status of Charmeleon. Oh, but I... Oh yeah, that's right, I don't have another energy card. Well, well I'll get free switches with, <laughs> with Spearow anyway, and if I get another energy card, it's game over, because I'll just get a free switch into Charmeleon and take out that Marowak. Yeah, whatever. You can do that if you'd like. I can switch all I please. So, just one energy card for the win. Heart of the cards! Guide me! Oh. <laughs> Oh, you dirty rats. Alright, so... Um, I... Well, let's see what else I can do here. I could just nick away with Growlithe. Maybe. I mean, I, it's a... 
guessing game with what will happen there. Actually, I'll just hold off. It's no big deal. There's plenty of cards left in the deck. It's a long enough battle as it is. And it, chances are it'll end with my victory the way that things are going. So, resistance, that's not too good. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Art of the Cards works for me! <laughs> 50 damage, game over. He didn't get a single prize card on me. And, oh, there's Bill. <laughs> sorry, G! Not that sorry. Woof! That's indeed power enough to defeat the Grandmasters. Take this, my GR number one knockout deck. It should prove useful for dueling GR number one. Also, take this gift from me. I got a fighting coin! It's like the badges in the main series of games, only you can use them for something during the game. I'll show you in a minute. Well, technically you do use the badges during the game for, like, being able to use HMs outside of battle, but details! Your luck may change if you switch out your coin for this one. By all means, please use it in your duel against GR number one. At the moment, GR number one seems to have retreated to the fighting claw. Please mint. You're their only hope! <sighs> so if we go to the coins, we can swap over to the Kabuto coin. Yeah! Look at that! Look at that! Oh my god, it's amazing! You can actually play with different coins in this game! And just for the sake of sakes, I'm going to show you the deck that he used to beat the GRs. Yeah, he's got the Caterpies, he's got the Metapod. Wait, actually, i got to skip out. Wait, hold on, I'm going to go confirm. There we go. So he's got the Ener Pick up Energy, skip that. Horn Hazard, you know that variety. Uh, you also know this variety. Bind the Stally Stall in a way. Oops. And Poison. Uh, the, 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 oh, new version of Geodude from the Vending Machine Tackle 10. <laughs> That's it. And then there's a hardened, sort of like the Snivel, in a way, sort of kind of a little bit more useful because the opponent doesn't have the utility of switching. Uh, different version of Graveler here, it's, it's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit more powerful. And there's the 40, just regular straight 40 for 3. Uh, you know that Onyx, da 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 da, energy search, you know, hello, Professor Oak, that's to win. <laughs> Switch, Pokedex, you can uh, reorder the top five cards of your deck. Um, that's about it, I suppose. Uh, I'm gonna actually save this to the record machine right over here. Just for the sake of future sakes. Oh, I should see more dialogues. You've come again, Mint. Take on Gene, the hardened rock. If you defeat me, I'll give you two booster packs. Nah, not right now. I'm kinda I'm kinda interested in defeating someone that I could defeat a lot quicker. So we're gonna go over to the fighting club. Oh man. Oh man. There he is! <laughs> <laughs> Guess who we're battling next? And by the way, after each game, you probably should get in the habit of saving your game, so... I'm copying over my save file um, between walkthrough parts anyway, but it's just for the sake of speed or whatnot in case this goes south. I don't think it will, though, but we're gonna actually also select the GR1 KO deck just for the fun of it, and give him another taste of this deck. W what the? You defeated Gene? That's a stone coin. It's proof of your victory. In that case, I challenge you to a duel! My question is, do you have the courage to fight the great GR number one? Uh... I beat Gene, and he beat you. What does that tell you? I don't know, I don't have the courage. If you don't have the guts to duel, don't waste my time any further. Go right ahead. Run away like a coward. Alright, alright, fine, fine. <laughs> we'll battle with six prize cards. Manage to beat me, I'll retreat from the fighting club. Just a fair warning, though. It's impossible for you to win! <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> the masks. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what he's got. It's boss time again! This part, I guess you could say. <laughs> Different music, by the way. Alright, so I guess I could try Hogan Hazarding, or, well, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll try the Horn Hazard, because I could do a lot of damage, and chances are I won't get that many tails, so I'll just go with that. Plus it's got more HP, so 
And yeah, since I'm trying a new deck here, it's kinda, kinda gonna th probably throw me off a little bit, but we'll see how things go. Oh, isn't that Poliwag weak to grass? <laughs> Why, yes! <laughs> yes, it is. Bubble can do some paralysis, but that's about it. It's Vending Machine Poliwag. And if I hit a Horn Hazard, that'll be an automatic knockout. Oh! <laughs> Oh no, this is not gonna be good for him, is it? Okay, so Voltorb has popped out. So I guess this is how he smashed through his deck because he's because there's um you know the right typing in this deck to tackle GR number one's deck. Anyway, magnets, can he get a magnemite? Can he get a magnemite? Aww. <laughs> I was actually expecting at the way like like at a if I could actually beat him, like, really quick, um, just by wiping him out before he fills up his bench Pokémon, then I have to take all the prize cards like I did with Gene. But eh, eh, we'll see how things go. Speedball! Oh, no, 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 no. That can knock me out on the next turn. That could be a problem. But, check out my Diglett. Resistance to electricity. So, do you see why they gave you this deck? You see why they gave this deck. I think you see. <laughs> Double damage, Dave, by the way. It won't be a knockout, but it won't be able to knock me out unless he switches to something. Super Potion. I, I guess. Uh, basically, you discard an energy card and then you recover 40 damage, I mean, 4 damage counters or 40 HP from that Pokemon. Um, that's not very. I, I don't even understand that AI's move because if I place a Fighting Energy on Diglett. Which I will, and, and do! Guess what the double damage is gonna be this time! <laughs> I think, yeah, so yeah, I think he should have saved that Super Potion. He's probably gonna switch to something else now, though. Uh, oh, and that's not good for him. Another Electric Pokemon. <laughs> well, Lightning Pokemon, um... Well... Well, does he... Oh, they're all... Oh, no! Oh no! <laughs> He's actually got. He drew all the Magnemite in his deck. Because you can have a maximum of four of any card with the same name if you're in your deck. <laughs> so, yeah, he was really pulling out those Magnemites with the. <laughs> oh yeah, and, and uh, Super Conductivity. You can kind of target anything, so even Bench Pokemon cannot hide. But it only does 10 damage. Anyway, much left. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> yeah, I think Diglett's a little bit, a little bit OP for his deck. This, this might be a total sweep. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, he's doing some smart stuff here. Yeah, there, there's hope. Oh no. Oh man. Attack damage reduced by ten. So I can only do up to ten with Diglett. Uh, I think Seal is also weak against to uh, electric. Yeah, lightning. So. I don't exactly have this, this is a fighting and grass deck. That's okay though. What I can do is begin the Metapod invasion and simply mud slap for the Oh yeah, that's right, it does 30 I mean it only reduces it by 10, excuse me. So 30 minus 10 is yeah, so it's not I'm not doing 10 damage per turn, I'm doing 20 damage per turn. Anyway, he's probably just gonna go, yeah, for another growl, of course. And yeah, as you can see, even though he's kind of the boss, he's not really much of a boss. <laughs> so to speak. Alright, let's get that Metapod going there. Um, I guess I could just keep Mud Slapping. I'm, I'm in good position here. So I don't think I have to worry too much about his critters. Oh no, that's powerful. Okay, he's got some tricks up his sleeve, or hoodie, or trench coat, whatever that is. <laughs> and Growl's gonna reduce, but not going to recycle his own card, because it's not gonna make it the next turn. And yeah, I can see why he's not switching, because he's still only got those Magnemites. Alright, so uh, Met Metapod has the Sun Spore for 20, so I don't have to power it up anymore. Uh... But what I will do, I think, is just in case of Nidorino, get that Nidoran powered up, and Mud Slap for another prize card. Book. Happy days!
Alright, what you got? I-I-I hope you got something, because you're in kind of bad positions, because I'm a tiny little diglet. <laughs> um, I got another Caterpie. Let's see here. Yeah, because I think Nidoran's horn attack was all colorless? I mean, Nidorino's uh, is all colorless, I thought. I don't remember offhand. I wish I could just check my deck. <laughs> like I said, when, when I picked this deck, I was like, I'm not... I, I, it's gonna throw me off a little bit, but I don't think it'll much matter, though, because I think I'm just gonna end up winning with uh, Diglett anyway, so... Unless he's got some sort of, like, I don't know, Magneton attack coming my way. Oh, Special Pikachu, I gotta show that one. Uh, you do not see many of those Pikachu too often. Oh yeah, I guess you can do 10 damage to Bench. Don't apply weakness and resistance. That, that'll that take him a while. But okay, here's the Pikachu. It's got the Thunder Shock, can paralyze, very useful. Agility, prevent all effects attacks, including damage. Also very useful. It's very similar to the Paralysis, actually. Only the opponent cannot do the Switcheroo unless they have a Switch card. Because it affects your Pokémon and not theirs. I mean, excuse me, unless they have a Gust of Wind card, not a Switch card. The Switch is for the uh, par Paralyzing Thundershock. Anyway, um... I I'm... I'm sorry it has to end this way. But Mud Slap. <laughs> and that is how Gene wiped out GR number one. <laughs> Victory! A complete sweep. Woof! You're stronger than I thought to have won against me. I got a rocket boost pack. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Ooh, dark time. <laughs> this is an interesting one. Uh, you, you, it, if they retreat, you can do 20 damage to that Pokemon, assuming the coin flip happens. So that's kind of an interesting card. And there's Knockdown. It, yeah, just 20 more damage if you get ahead. So it's it's more about the Pokemon power attack more than anything. Because you could just keep nicking away at Pokemon if you just keep forcing the opponent to switch somehow. Like, putting them at a type disadvantage. So Dark, Dark Dog Trio works in a multi-attack deck pretty well. I mean, a multi-typing deck pretty well. Uh, Dark Kadabra, Matter Exchange. You discard a curve of your hand in order to draw a card. It's... Kind of like an early graceful charity. <laughs> and Mind Shock. Don't apply weakness and resistance. So that means you'll always get 30 damage with it, even if the po uh, opponent has a colorless Pokemon with psychic resistance. Kind of handy too. Some, In some cases, that may actually be better than the original Kadabra as a result of that. Plus the matter exchange. Because, you know, you can cycle cards out that you don't need for others, perhaps too. So it's a, it could be a bench... Bench warmer, I guess. <laughs> uh, Dark Muck, Sticky Goo, as long as Muck's your active Pokemon, your opponent pays double energy, well, two colorless energy more to retreats. Dun dun dun! So I can mess with your opponent's retreats as well. Uh, if you wanted to, you could even combine these two in a way, so that even if they can retreat, Dark Muck will uh, make them discard more energy cards, but I'm not. But that's up to you. I'd say actually keep them as separate decks because they have different utilities. Dark Muck actually may prevent opponents from switching. And then you won't get the Dark Dug Trio effects off and vice versa, so... Uh, oh yes! This Magmar is a fantastic Magmar. It's got a lot of HP. It's got the smoke screen, which can stop attacks. And it's got the poisons. It's got, yeah, 70 HP, so it's got stalling, it's got a lot of HP, it's a great fire basic Pokemon. Probably the best fire stall Pokemon out there. That's going in the main deck. Oh, special rocket energy here. If you play this card, if you're going to remove one damage counter from the Pokemon you attach it to. So it's yeah, just a little, little bit of a heal, plus a little bit of a power up. Like a combination of a potion and the energy, but not as powerful as a regular potion. So it's up to you if you want to use that over them separate or anything like that. You've seen Speedball, Voltorb. Uh, you see Skirtle's Shell Attack? I think you did. Dig on their Rocket version on Pona's Pokemon. 10 damage. Ship. Pick, pick, pick. Whichever one, whichever one, whichever one. And Scratch. I, I don't know where the claws are. 
but it can scratch. Maybe it's got very abrasive skin. And full heal energy. Now this is something that maybe you might find more useful than the potion energy in a way, is because you get the energy card plus, you wipe out the status condition. That means if you if your opponent thinks they've stalled you with a paralysis, and maybe an energy removal, boom. <laughs> and oh yeah, yeah, it also provides one... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really show that on the other one, and then, oh shoot, I, I didn't show that char Wait, no, I did show that char Charmander before in another game. Um, maybe I'll- Oh! That's an expensive card, IRL, by the way. <laughs> I think that's gonna go on main deck as well, just to show it. It's, it's kind of difficult to use, even though Energy Burn changes energy attached to it to fire, but I can combine it with double colorless energy or even attach fighting energy to it, and then use the ultra-powerful fire spin. Hello! <laughs> it's extra power. You know that girl that, you know, Pokedex. You've seen that, uh, I don't think you've seen this Krabby. Mm. Yeah, just grab some Krabbies. It's like the Magnemite thing that it was doing. Iron Griff 20. You see Nidoran, no energy surge. You see, now we're, now, that we're get, now we're getting the cards pretty quick here. <laughs> and you can choose uh, to disable opponent's attacks with this particular uh, extended series of Venonats. Uh, flip a coin, if heads, yep, 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 confused, good stuff, kinda, I mean, it's, it's, it's two, two for, tw I mean, it, yeah, two for twenty, but that confusion can be handy, uh, and of course, energy card, and I guess I'll show that charm in there just to be sure, and take this, a GR coin piece, one, why are you giving me all this poop, aren't you my enemy, <laughs> oh, actually, maybe you're not giving this to me because you like me or something, I mean, that's only a piece of a coin. It couldn't be worth anything. You got a lot of guts, kid, to take on the illustrious <laughs> Team GR. Try to collect all four pieces of our coin. If you can manage that, you'll be able to travel to GR Island. However, can you truly collect them all? Team GR away! <laughs> By the way, Team GR still has the Clubmaster, Mitch, held captive. If you'd like him back, find your way over to GR Island. Team Great Rockets blasting off again! <laughs> Alright, so we have freed the club from Team GR's control! It was not very difficult, but we have freed it! <laughs> and now, we'll modify our deck. And I'd like to show you that charm man here really quick. You gather fire. Maybe I didn't show this one before. Uh, you can take one energy card attached from your other Pokemon and attach it to Charmander. That might be handy for your Charizard in the future. Or the Charmeleon coming up later on. And Flametail 20. So I think I'm actually gonna take out one of these so I can plop in one of those. And plop in a Charizard. I don't have two Charizards to do the 2, 3, 4 balance here. So I'm just gonna have to deal with that. Um, I don't have Arcanine, so I think I'm gonna actually swap out Growlithe for that special Stolly Magmar. Actually, wait, 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 I'm gonna go... Because this is 40 HP. 40 HP, although Ponyta is a bit more consistent. Maybe I'll go 2 and 2. And then swap something out elsewhere. Uh, by the way, this is the regular deck, not the... Uh, Team GR beat Tom Tech, so... Yeah. Uh... Well, actually... Um, I kind of want to have that Diglett for the sake of fighting, you know, like the resistance. Should I... Go two and two? And then add in something else, like the other Diglets, maybe? But I don't want to lose my third Charmeleon. How about I... Hmm... Hmm... <laughs> hmm... Although, the, the, uh, the use, these, the fire Pokemon use so many energy cards. Um, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll do it like that instead. And then as for the energy, we're gonna go all the way over. And we're gonna try plopping in the full heal and double colorless in place of one fire and... Actually, uh, I guess... I was gonna say one fire and one fighting, but I don't know. I think I'm, I think I'm reducing my elemental cards a bit too much now. That's kind of the balance issues of this. Maybe I could go. Maybe I'll leave out the full heal energy and just put in the double colorless for now. 
And we will call that a deck modification. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I hopefully go dominate more clubs. Hopefully, except for that one guy at the rock club. <laughs>